Hey folks, how y'all doing? This is Fat Guy Flies RC. Well, I've decided I'm going to do a video that I've been putting off quite a long, quite a while, but um, I figured it was, now was a good time as any to do it. Um, you have, the scenario is, you have bought yourself, this, this is the FMS Pilatus PC21 or any model, okay? And you've also purchased yourself a, uh, Oh, I'm dropping everything. An AR631 antenna or, or uh, receiver. Okay, it's got safe and it's program. It's got forward programming and you know and all that. And it's got safe select and it's got the AS3X. Okay, and you read somewhere that the model that the receiver's got to be in there straight, either flat or on the side or upside down, but it has to be flat going with the model, and that's true. So. Let's just, for that's the argument's sake, I'm going to show you in the model. I've mounted the AR631. Okay, there it is. Got the buying plug, I got the antenna going in, and then going back, and I've taped it right there. Okay, and I've got everything hooked up to it. All right, and, uh, and I already did my servo leveling and everything. I know everything is straight. Okay, and I have already bound the aircraft to this receiver but I have no idea how to do forward programming and make AS3X work and make safe work on it you know they say this receiver does it well how do I do that well the first step you're going to want to do is you know obviously you got your model you're going to want to mount your receiver either on the side flat or upside down running with the length of the fuselage not at any weird strange angle. I'm just going to try to put this in simple terms, okay? Alright, you got that all taken care of. And you got that model in there, okay? It's bound, okay? Your your transmitter talks, talks, okay? You're good, oh good. My elevator's going the right way, and both my ailerons are going, or my, yeah, going the right way. My rudder is working the right way. Okay, good. All my flight control services are going the right way. And this is an important step. Before you go any further, okay, before you go any further, you want to make sure that all your control services are going the correct way. So now you've got that step done. Okay? Now, Unplug your model again. You could have done this while you were setting it up, but unplug your model, okay? Now you want to go and make a flight mode. Now, and you're going to assign a flight mode to a switch. Now, I like using B, okay? So that's what we're going to, but it can, it can be any switch you want because you're going, you're going to have at least two positions because you're going to want to be able to turn safe on and turn safe off. You're going to be able to have safe just with the AS3, just the AS3X, and you're going to have just the safe. Okay. Well, when you have safe, AS3X works anyways um, to level things out, but it'll it'll auto correct and auto level your plane. If you want just AS3X, then it's just the the wind mitigation. Okay. That just makes the plane fly better in wind. Okay. So you want at least a two position switch. Well, I don't want it to be on A because that's where my gear is. So I'm going to use B. I know it's a three position switch, but I'm going to use B. And this is where you're going to want to put in a flight mode. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do a flight mode. All right, you got your transmitter, or you got your, yeah, your transmitter is in your hand. You're going to go to system setup. You're already, you're still on your model, right? Okay. All right, see where it says flight mode setup? This is where you're going to pick where you're putting that mode. And like I said, I like B. Okay, it enables three flight modes but I only need two, and I'm putting on switch B. Okay, go down to the next, previous, and out of the mid. Now we're back to the model. Nothing's changed with the model, okay? It's still set up, so now we can plug the model in. The only thing we've added is a, a where we want our flight mode designated to. And you say, what's a flight mode? That's just how the computer and the plane talk to each other, what mode you want the Plane in. You want flight mode one, flight mode two, in this case flight mode three because I'm on a three position switch. Just trying to keep it simple. Okay? Alright. You got your flight mode. 
And listen here, something that the spectrum bounds up. Still no AS3X, no safe yet, but the model's still working. And there's where I got my throttle. Okay, my throttle cuts on. Nothing audio. Haven't really set the model, but all of my throttle cut and all my control services are working correctly. And I've got my flight mode where I want it on B. No audio, no nothing yet. But let's go, this is when you're going to go to forward programming. Okay? Now, in the floor, you're going to go down here, and you're going to go to the forward programming menu. Okay? Because that transit, because you got power to the receiver, it knows it's got, uh, it's got the ability, you go to gyro settings. Okay? Look, it says first time setup. Yes. Okay. Okay, make sure the model is being configured. In other words, all the control services and everything works right. So you already know that. And you got to make sure, and you already know that all that's done right. Okay, set the model level. Well, she's level. She's right to where she's going to be. So you're going to hit enter. Hit continue. Okay. All right. Now it says, unless you have to do this, it says to set the model on its nose and hit continue. The reason is, is the receiver, the gyro that's in the receiver, has to know which way. It, now it knows which way level is. Now it has to know which way is down. So you're going to take the model. You're going to put it on its nose. Okay. You can do this with one hand. You've got your power. Your throttle cuts off, so you're safe. Okay. And now your plane is going down. And you're going to come down here to your transmitter. I'll, I'll show you. And you're going to hit continue all right all right all right sorry there's a little glitch in the camera i was getting ready to set the model on the on its nose but we have the model set level it learned which way was level i know i'm kind of repeating myself like i said the camera messed up on me and now i want you to set the model on its nose okay so that the gyro and the receiver can learn which way is down. Okay? All right, now I want to show you, it's done that. I want to show you on the camera, or on the transmitter, what that screen, once it set it on its nose and I hit continue, this is what you see now. This is orientation two. So it knows what how that receiver is set in there. I've got it on the side, okay? All right. Now you're going to hit, don't worry about that, just hit apply. All right. Now, hear that double dance? It reminds you of an E-flight bind and fly E-flight planes. No, that little double dance. Okay, your receiver's rebooting. You hit um, menu. Now you can go back to forward programming again. Now we're going to set up safe for the first time. It takes it a second. You hit gyro settings again. Okay. Now, down here, do first time safe setup. Okay? Before I said, it's to remind you about that FM channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at that. This is where, remember we remember that F mode, the, the, the flight mode we put it in? All right, look. We're going to go down here to B, because that's where I put it at. So I pick B. Well, you can hit enter with your roller and hit next. Okay, so now it says, okay, we understand that you now have the flight mode channel set. So we're going to hit continue. We've already done that. We're going to hit continue again or next. And it says AS3 gain. Well, we already got that. Okay, we're going to hit next again. Okay, now level, highlight level model and capture the attitude. In other words, it's going to, this is the way it flies level. Okay, a little negative on the pitch and roll, but that's okay. That's how that model sits. Okay, we're going to hit next. That And that is the factory. You know how whenever in safe's working and, and uh, the, whenever the elevator only goes so far and the aileron goes so far? That's those restrictions there. So leave that alone. And then you're going to hit apply. Hear that? There's your double dance. 
Okay. You want to go back to your menu again. Go back to forward programming. Okay. All right. Now you can go back to gyro settings one more time. Okay. What you want to do is go down to F mode setup. Okay. And here's flight mode one. Flight mode two. There's flight mode two. Flight mode and flight three. mode three. But look at what's on the choices. When flight I go back to flight mode one. one, all it says is AS3X is active, but safe mode is inhibited. Well, I want flight mode one to have safe. So I'm going to highlight it and drag it over to self level. Okay. That's for flight mode one. So now we're going to go back and we're going to get out of this. Okay. Back to the normal model. I'm in flight mode one, right? Everything's working. My throttle is not on. And, and look at that. Oh, you can hear, watch, watch this. Ah, it's trying to bring you back to level again. That tells me that safe is working, okay? And those gyros are working, okay? Well, what about AS3X? What if I just want just AS3X? Well, I want to be in flight mode two for that, right? Okay. Wait a minute. I don't hear no gyros. Well, what's wrong? Okay. This is where so many, this point here is where so many people get frustrated with this. They say, wait a minute. Now the AS3X safe works, but now AS3X doesn't work. I discovered this as a trick. <laughs> what you have to do, what you have to have to have to do is you have to go back to flight mode again. All right. Go back to forward programming. Okay, got to wait a little bit. Go back to the gyro settings. Go back to your F mode. Okay. All right. Flight mode, Flight one. mode one. We know there's AS3X working, and we know that the self level. When I went to flight mode two, though, flight mode two. nothing. It just says AS3 is activated, but it didn't work. And Flight same mode thing three. for three, right? Okay. Flight mode one. Well, then what's, what gives? So what you do is you go to AS3X settings. Okay. All right. Flight mode three. Go flight back to mode flight one. mode one. Okay. Fix adjustable gains in flight mode one. And what you do is you see, see where it says adjustable? Just click that and make it fixed. Make it fixed. Go to... Flight mode Flip two. To you're unflipping my B switch to go to flight mode two. I'm going to make all those fixed. And then I'm going to go to three. Flight mode three. And they are all fixed. Okay. And what that is, and you got to go all the way back. Go all the way back out again. Back to your model. Okay. So we remember. We remember that flight mode, flight mode one should just be, yeah, the, the elevator's going up, the aileron's starting to go up a little bit, that aileron's starting to go up a little bit. It's not very distinct, but it is, okay? I'm thinking, well, okay. Flight mode two. Flight mode two. Wait a minute. I just fixed it, and there's no thing. But what's the thing about AS3X? It doesn't work until your throttle's gone up at least 25%. So, away from the throttle. As I blow everything everywhere. Throttle cuts back off. Okay. I'm in flight mode three. <gasps> my servos, they're the, that's going against my hand. The direction that a servo or gyro should go is the if you when you lift up like that, that that control server should push against your hand. So if I move the rudder this way, the rudder should turn against my hand. If the elevator goes up, the elevator should turn, and it does. The aileron works right. So that tells me now that in flight mode one, two, and three, flight mode one. and this is safe with the gyros AS3X and safe self level. Flight mode two, which is just AS3X, 
just the gyros. And again, going against my hand. Okay? The other there is going against my hand. The rudder is going against my hand. Going against the direction. Uh, when a gyro is working correctly, the surface come the, the wind coming at the plane on the side, the rudder is going to turn towards it. Or if the wind's going this way, the other one's going to turn towards the force to level the plane. Okay. Now, just another thing that you can tell the difference visually. Okay, we're in flight mode. We're in flight. Flight mode three. Look at that elevator. Okay. Look at how much movement I have on that. Now I'm going to go back to flight mode one, which is where safe was. And look, look at the ailerons. Nowhere near as much movement. But when I go to AS3X or flight mode two or three, look at how much movement I got. See, this is so you know safe is on flight mode one. And then AS3X only is on flight mode two and flight mode three. Now, hope I didn't make that all clear as mud to you, but just the principles of this is number one, make sure when you install your receiver, flat, running with the fuselage, either upside down, right side up, or on the side, but running with the fuselage, okay? Not at an angle, not sideways, not, you know, tilted, running with the fuselage, okay? Make sure all your, don't worry about safe and AS3X, make sure all your control servers work in the right direction. Go in there to the first part of the screen where you initially made the model. Set your flight mode to whatever channel you want on your transmitter. It just has to be a, at least a two channel. I like using B, okay? And then you put the model at a level, you go to forward programming, you say you tell the thing that yes, we do have a flight mode set, and then it says you go to gyro settings, and it's going to tell you to set the model nice and level. You do, hit continue, then it's going to say put the model on its nose so it knows which way is up and down. You hit continue, it'll learn that. If the server or the receiver, the thing, the plane will reboot. Okay, now you have the ability to get safe in AS3X. Then you're going to go in there and put your flight mode. Watch, you're going to tell it where the, in forward programming, you're going to tell it where you put the, the flight mode at, which we chose B. Okay. And then it's going to say, and then it's going to say first time flight, uh, uh, safe setup. And you're going to level the model. That first option it says set the model level. You're going to answer, you can say yes to everything. Yes, you got it all nice and set. And then you're going to level the model. And it's going to do all those pitch and rolls. If it's just off by, like mine was off a negative two on the roll, a negative two on the pitch. That's just minute. Now, if it was like a level 15 or 16, like say, say the, the pitch up and down was level thir uh, negative 30 or something, then you're going to need to pick that nose up, set it on a book or something, to where that model is sitting level, and then, and then try it again. Um, now, after all said and done, you think, okay, that's cool. But you know what? I don't think I did it right. And I want to start over. I'll show you how to do that. How to take the boot forward programming. And all you do, go back here to forward programming. And you see where, and then when it comes up, it takes a second. See where it says other settings? Okay. If you go to now, if you want to save what you've done, this is where you'd save a backup. Now that's a whole different ball game, but you can save it. But if you just want to reset that receiver back to, to where it was before you installed it in the model, you want to make it a, you know, like say you've decided that you're going to sell this plane, but you want to keep the receiver, but you want to be able to make it able to be forward programmed like it was before you put it in this plane. You just go back here to factory reset, hit enter. It'll say it'll say something like, are you sure? Oh, here, we'll just hit it. You know, and this, you know, you want to hit apply. Now, if you hit apply, then it erases the profile that it created on that plane. Okay. And then you then have, and then if you want to verify that you're still there, just hit gyro, you know, and it's still there. 
Okay, so I didn't, I didn't, I didn't commit to a factory uh, reset. But that's that's what you want to do. You go to factory reset and hit apply, and then it's going to return that receiver to just like it was when you got it out of the package. And now you can put it into a different model if you want, and do this entire process again. Now, I highly suggest watching this for this. Uh, All right, sorry, the video cut out on me again. Um, but anyways, I verified that I didn't erase it. So that's how you factor reset it, and that way you can move that receiver to whatever new model you want. And, and uh, I suggest you go back to this video and watch it step by step again, um, because I know I kind of covered it quickly. Um, but that's the basics of it. Uh, and this way you can put this in and essentially make this FMS model, and this non-E-Flight model, a bind and fly with safe select and AS3X and fly just like they designed it that way. Okay? Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, folks, faith, family, and friends, and then planes. And even things like this. <laughs> Bye. I have to turn the camera off.